Now, well, I'm just going to show you a little bit how the build works. Uh, obviously, Neil's gone through all the technical stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to show you the box of lane. And the most important part of the build is in the first course. You have to get that first course perfect. Now, that's laid on just normal sand and cement. Uh, we do do a screed system that you can use. So, I mean, it's, to be honest with you, it's so easy to use. But, I mean, you can get, if you want to, you can get brickies into just lay the first course and just refill the rest yourself. Uh, we've had a job uh, at a school in uh, Bristol, which was a uh, Trinity School, and we actually had the bricklayers in to do all the first course. So they laid everything out to the foundations, and then we had to add the labourers that finished the school off. Now it's quite frightening when you think about that, yet that school was perfect. There was nothing at all that can go wrong with the build. As long as you get that first course right, <laughs> then, then you're fine. But they've got to get that perfect. It's worth taking an extra half a day, day over to do it, because you will actually win it back that day with the speed of the build. Yeah. Right, what you've got, as Neil says, uh, we've got a, a fire clay block, three types of clay. Added to that clay you have paper, a bit of wood and a bit of polystyrene. So when it's actually fired, you've got uh, that material burns off. So you don't only get the air that's trapped within that, you get the air that's trapped within the system. So I like to call it, it's like a big aero. If you imagine like an aero, that's what you've got in, within the system. Now this block is that easy, it's like Lego for adults. I should have the kids have all the fun. So I'm just going to show you how it works out now. Basically what you've got is when you're laying your course out, you've got your first and third course, your second and fourth course. They're exactly the same, so there's nothing you can do wrong with. The actual modules are 250. That's in height and length. So as long as you set them halfway through, because you're butting them up to each other, there's no way you can not be, have your perks halfway across. Now the way the mortars are laid is it's mixed just with a uh, ordinary whisk. In, uh, they just tend to use two tubs, they'll mix probably five, a couple of bags. I mean, sometimes they mix the big tubs, if they've got quite a big system to use, they'll mix the big tubs, so they mix three or four bags, and let you go with the bucket and just scoop it out, tip it into the hopper. Yeah. Uh, as Neil says, you watch when they come, they come palletised. Now, they all come the same way, so it's crucial, like Neil said, when you actually build, make sure that you're building, you'll notice that you have a tongue and a groove on one end. So for easiness for yourself, make sure that when you, if you put them down, if the groove's there, make sure that the pallet ones come so when you're fetching them off, you're not flicking them around and messing around with them, it comes off as they, they lay. It's just easier for yourself. Right on there. Some shot me. <laughs> right, the mortar, it's, it's a line mortar. Uh, basically it comes out at a mill thick. Because what you've got, these are actually planes, 0.05 of a mill. So you can imagine you've got no tolerance whatsoever. Once the mortar goes down, that's a mill. That gives you the actual box of 240. The mill gives you your 250. Yeah. And it's literally just rolled out. Nice. Always handy having one of these in your pocket. On there for now. So that's your mortar laid. And what we have is we have half blocks or corner blocks, sorry no corner blocks these are, but we have half blocks which you can use if you're coming to a doorway, stop end, whatever, just one of them, just give you half block. So your corners, as you can see from this one at the front, it's laid that way, yeah, to lay the blocks that way. All you do, let's you take your corner block and you lay it the opposite way. So what you've got is you've got your, you see how it's bridged halfway across, you bridge your gap. Now at, these, at this point, if you notice, you've got no tongue and groove down one side. That's the reason it can be used for end blocks, corner blocks. At this point, what you need to do is, you need to leave it roughly about 10 mil. As you can see, the bottom one's left roughly about 10 mil. And, it, and then what you do is you point that up with an insulating mortar. So it's the mortar with slightly bit of polystyrene and just gives you the re insulation again. You can do that at any part of the build. It hasn't got to be done then and there. So literally, we, you can, I mean, what we did is we literally built the school and we had a labourer going round. Any damaged blocks again, they get pointed up. So if there's any hollows in the blocks, just point it up with the insulating mortar. They go round, that, that, way, that he was done, that was actually done at the end of the job, just before obviously the render went on. Yep. So you leave that slightly, about 10 mil gap, I'll show you now. Yep, just like that. And again, mortared up. 
Again, it would be the same this side on the internal. I just pushed up. But then, literally, all it is is a matter of stacking blocks. Put them straight up. No perks to be done. And as, as you say, what you're doing here is you're actually laying two courses in the cavity. Just be careful any bits, because we're just giving the block a bit of a tap, because it will rock. And, the, uh, and that's the stage, by the way. It's not me, it's the stage, trust me. There is a more to bed under the stage, but nobody knows. Until we go. That's it. Sometimes they'll just go along with it, like an armor just to tap them. You don't really need to. They're stuck down there anyway. Then obviously all you do, uh, coming back this way, enough mortar in that mix. Should I have just to do this end? I'll just show you the return of the block. When you're getting up to this end, when you try not to overlap the mesh, because you'll have a rock on it, so just try and get as near as you can. If it is, as you know, you think you're not near enough with the mortar for some reason or other, you can always just, oh, you can always just paste the mortar on there. The knife again, it's enough. So all we do then is step back with the block. So again, it's set up ready to take the block. Some of them, I mean, uh, if you get a brick layer doing it, you'll tend to want to. Uh, he'll tend to want to put a line across it. That's fine. You can do that if you want. Put some uh, profiles. I said we never <laughs> Put some profiles up. Let it just run along, line along the front. Because it's not a facing material. It does need a face on it, so it's entirely up what, what to you what you go with. You can have a rendered external, you can have a clad system, brick clad system, anything you know, sort of down that sort of line. So, and again, that's it. Just sort of come back this way with it. What you've got there again now, as you see, you've got your first course, your second course. That's it because the third will repeat, the fourth will repeat, so there's nothing you can do. If it is you get to windows, I mean it's always nice to try and uh, make your windows into the modules of what they are, it's just easier for you. If it is you do get to a window, I'll just show you, for instance, say for instance you, you know, your window comes in there, yeah, it means you've got to cut a block. It isn't quite off, you've got to cut a block. What they'll say to you is, the easiest thing to do is, cut the block, maybe a couple of blocks down. So cut it, put it in, put the others up, and it'll give you a nice straight edge to work to. And all you need to do again is just point them edges up to give you, uh, you know, your, your insulation in there. That's it, yeah. To cut the blocks, it's, it's really easy, really easy. We did a school where they had splayed angles. And what the guys actually did, you can imagine, it came across and they displayed the angles with a lot of went back into the building. They literally built past the actual splay and then at the end of the job, they went round with what, they, what we call an alligator saw, which is like a saw, like an alligator's nose on, and they literally cut them off after it. Because obviously you're only, you're only building every other one, so it's easier access to just get in, cut them down after it. If for any reason that, that, has, that has to happen, then what you'd need to do is again, if you've got your fins showing, where you've cut insulating mortar again, it just takes the U value back up, and it gives it an insulation, so you do that. Into